boss Honey, if you pay, I talk Probably at a way I floss Make you feel a tip Hey you guys, it's O'Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I construct a wig from start to finish. I will be showing you guys the elastic band method and I will also be showing you guys how I colored the unit. So definitely stay tuned if you would like to see how I did that. So the hair I will be using today is from Bo Fox. This is an AliExpress company. I ordered their 16, 18, and 20 inch Brazilian body wave hair and I also ordered a 14 inch frontal. So today I'm going to be using an extra large dome cap so it can fit my head. You want to make sure that your mannequin head is the same size as your head before you begin. Now, I don't know if you can see the lines in the center of the cap. You kind of want to keep that centered and it's going to help you keep your wig lined up and everything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my frontal up with the beginning of the dome cap. You want your frontal to come down about less than an inch down below the dome cap but you do not want it directly on it nor do you want it behind it because you want to make sure that it comes down before your hairline so you just want to line it up from ear to ear you want to go ahead and secure that into place and what i'm doing is just braiding the hair getting it out of the way because you don't want it to get caught in the thread so i'm just going to be clipping that away <clears throat> You're going to need a curved needle, and all you're going to do is pull the thread through, literally. You're going to cut it, make sure the ends match up, and then you're just going to tie a knot. So, I'm sticking it through the cap and the lace, and I'm about to begin sewing. So, basically, this is how you want to do it. You want to stick it through the lace and the cap, and what I'm doing is pulling the needle through the thread. So, I'm going to show you guys a couple times how to do this if it didn't make sense. So, I'm just sticking it through the lace, through the cap. And I'm grabbing the needle and I'm literally pulling it through the loop. Okay, so we're going to stick it through the cap again, through the lace. And when I go to grab the needle, I stick my hand through that loop that I created. And you just want to pull it through. And it's going to start to look like that. Okay, one more time. I'm just sticking it through the cap, through the lace. And then you want to grab the needle and pull it through the loop. Simple. No crazy techniques, just sew, okay? Now you wanna make sure that your stitching is tight. You wanna make sure that your frontal isn't going anywhere. So just pulling it through the loop and that's literally how I'm going to sew all around the wig. And you see here, I'm just pulling it down, making sure everything is flat. You wanna make sure that it is lined up perfectly, even from ear to ear. So this is what your frontal should look like when you're done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and begin sewing. And I'm gonna take my first track and I'm gonna lay it against the base of the um, wig cap. Now, please keep in mind, um, down here is where the elastic band is. Now, for the most part, you don't really wanna sew on the elastic band. However, we are gonna be cutting through the um, cap, so it will affect the stretch regardless. But what I'm trying to do is basically sew through the cap and not the elastic band. And you will feel the difference. You'll know where it is, so I'll just show you. Basically, it's the same concept. You're still sewing the same. You're just trying to avoid the elastic band. But if you do sew in the elastic band, like I said, make sure that your mannequin head is the correct size. And if it is, it won't be the end of the world. But yeah, now I'm just gonna go ahead and begin my next track. I cut them at first, but then I decided to just continue um, flipping them over. So I'm just sewing that track there as well. And you want to make sure that your tracks are going in this kind of um, U shape. You do not want it to be like straight across because when it goes onto your head, it's not going to fit properly. So you want to make sure that it is going in this curved shape. So 
So I'm finished with my first bundle and I'm just gonna go ahead and braid that up and get it out of my way. Now at the second bundle is where I begin to space my tracks apart. Um, I really keep all my tracks at the bottom pretty close just because I wanna fit all the hair into the wig. So that's really why they're so close. But right here is where I start spacing them. Cause this is where the middle to the top of your head is gonna start to be. And you don't really want any bulkiness back there. You want everything to be flat. So that's basically why I'm doing that. So this is where I like to sew straight across. So that's basically what I'm doing, same method, and I'm just gonna do that until that space closes up. Now when I do get to that last track, I kinda like to sew it to the frontal. This is how it should look when you are done. And then after that, you're just gonna go ahead and take that down. Right, so this is what the inside of the wig should look like after you are done sewing. So you see that part where there's absolutely no thread? You're gonna cut that part out. Now you're gonna be super, super careful to not cut any thread and this is what it should look like when you are done. I don't like fooling around with measurements and stuff like that. I think it's just easier to figure out how much stretch you want. You're gonna have your elastic band above the ear flap, right? So it's gonna go from here, and you can kind of decide how much stretch you want. So I don't really want mine to be too snug, but I don't want it to be loose. So you see how it's like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and cut this. After you cut this, you're just gonna flip the wig inside out, and you're gonna begin sewing right behind um, the leg. You don't wanna see the elastic band through the wig, so you wanna make sure when you're sewing it, it's far back enough. So basically, like I said, I'm just taking it to the other side and I'm just gonna sew it in basically the same way. I know it looks a little crazy. Um, my knot <laughs> made this loop and I didn't cut it off, but any. So I'm going to be using the Wella Color Charm Toner T14 Pale Ash Blonde and I mix this with 20 Volume Developer, okay? And basically I'm just going to cover this entire side with the toner. So now I'm gonna be using the Age Beautiful anti-aging hair color in the color Jet Black, and I'm just gonna literally cover the other side, and it is a one-to-one -one ratio. And I'm basically just doing the same thing that I did on the other side, just covering the hair. You wanna be super careful. Um, I put my elastic band in the middle between the parting space because I really didn't wanna get black dye on the other side. I wanted this to be like super clean. But yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna speed through this. Um, pretty self-explanatory and this is what the unit looked like when I rinsed it out and air dried it so now I'm gonna begin plucking my wig so what I do I like to start plucking randomly in between the hairs I hope you can kind of understand what I'm doing but I just like to start plucking just in between the hair never really at the front but you want to start behind the hairline because it's going to help it thin it out without balding it you know what I mean so I'm just going to go ahead and throw the wig on now I did cut the lace off um and I'm going to finish 
customizing so my hairline does go back right here so i'm just going to section this part off and i'm basically just going to bald that Now doing this part, be careful not to rip your lace. I do recommend um, using tweezers. I just do this all the time, so I already know. <laughs> but um, I do go in with the tweezers just to make sure that the baby hairs are like pretty natural. But you wanna make it look like your hairline, you know? So this right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my razor and I'm gonna thin that out. And that's gonna be like my little baby hairs okay and um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side let me know if you want a more in detail video about customizing so so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my glue and I'm gonna be using the got to be glued the black one you guys already know I use it all the time and I'm just gonna be applying this to my hairline so I'm gonna go ahead and use my blow dryer to speed up the drying process and I'm gonna pull my wig down now, um, the first thing I like to do is make sure it's down enough. And I like to start pressing the lace down in the middle. So you don't wanna really apply it all at once cause it's gonna be kinda hard. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just pulling the lace down, pressing it into the glue, making sure everything is sitting where I want it to. And you can go ahead and use your blow dryer to speed it up. I'm just going to um, keep pressing that lace down, blow drying it into place, making sure everything is where I want it to be. And um, this is basically how it looked. Day one, just showing you some scalp, you guys. So this is the finished look, you guys. It is a few days later. I wanted to show you guys how I've been styling it. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel, you guys. And let me know what you would like to see from me next. All right? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.